is uh, Danny Kerry and I'm the Performance Director for England and Great Britain Hockey and I'm also the head coach of the uh, GB Women's Programme up to the Rio 2016 Olympic Games. In practice that means I spend uh, about 10 to 15 percent of my time looking strategically um, at performance in Great Britain and England, um, so looking at the coaching pathway, the talent development pathway, the national junior teams and the national senior teams and looking at the strategic direction of those and how we best uh, deliver high performance at the Olympic Games. Uh, and then sort of my day to day is very much with the senior women's team uh, in preparing them to, to win medals at uh, Rio 2016. I think it was very much about broadening their minds about what effective leadership is and what effect it could have. Um, the same for followership um, and how there are, as many, there are more followers than leaders and therefore they needed to, uh, to understand that concept as well. Um, I think they really started to realise that leadership could also be incredibly subtle uh, and I think they've really took that to heart as a group. Uh, and that pretty much everyone has leadership qualities, uh, they're just different. Um, and I have a sense now that those athletes that went through that, you often hear them using little phrases or, or stopping and self-checking themselves and getting into a little different mode of being when they're needing to, to bring people with them. Um, so those three days were pretty powerful in regard to that. So uh, we were playing Japan in our first game and uh, Kate Walsh, our captain and one of the world's leading players, um, had a jaw broken in three different places. Um, and we were really conscious that uh, we as a staff wanted to ensure that the athletes felt that this was still very much an achievable goal to win a, to win a medal at Olympic Games for the first time in 20 years. So our demeanours as staff were really about reassurance and talking about the, the, the excess capability we'd built into the team and that we'd pretty much rehearsed for these type of situations. Um, so that sort of phrase of how do you want people to feel or how does your leadership make people feel, we were really kind of at the forefront of our minds when, in the sort of days or the morning following Kate's injury. I think one of the concepts we really pushed with the group both in the Ross on Y and, and subsequently was um, you know, in order to lead others, you have to be able to lead yourself. Um, and we did a lot of work around sort of self-awareness and, and, and getting people to think about their, how their behaviours impact on others and how they make others feel. So, you know, the, the acid test is when you, you know, face situations like we did in London, you know, you lose your captain. Um, is that the end of uh, our Olympic dream? And uh, how am I going to behave and act around others? Am I going to be sort of the voice of logic when, when emotions are running high? Am I going to um, give off and you know, congruently give off this sense that this is still doable, this is still achievable, we've built in the capacity? And for the athletes themselves, they worked hard on having their own triggers, so their own sort of ability to catch themselves, okay, where am I now? Where do I need to be? Where are others? Where do they, where do they need to be? Um, and a lot of that work, a lot of the foundation for that work was done at the Leadership Trust. I remember writing to the Trust after I'd been on, on, my, uh, on my course, my leadership course, saying that I felt that the establishment sort of embodied what it was trying to deliver. Um, and I have been on, on courses uh, where you felt that yes, you, you've paid money to be there and it is a commercial activity. I actually generally felt the Leadership Trust kind of believed in, uh, believed fundamentally in what it was delivering and so it was kind of a passion as well as a business. Um, and that was sort of borne out by the staff, um, um, the, the location, the venue, the activities we did um, and sort of the history of the foundation. So that, that's why I'd recommend it because I, I I don't think people are pushing a product. I, I think they kind of genuinely believe in the absolute critical and fundamental importance of leadership.